Well, it's happening, y'all. Real early, like 6 a.m. But I want to take care of a couple things today. When I bought this excavator, it came with these really cool, like, covers on the grease fittings. I don't know if you can see that down there. There's a little yellow cap on that grease fitting. I think there's another one around here somewhere. Yeah, up top right there. You can see there's a little yellow cap. I thought that was a really great idea, and I went online, and sure enough, they sell this part, which are these little caps. Here's what they look like. Just a little cap like this, and then it's got a ring on it. And you can see, I already put a couple on our forklift. I greased it up, and uh, popped it on there. It's just supposed to make them easier to identify. I know there's a couple back here somewhere. I don't know if you can see them or not, but... There's a couple back there. I figured I'd go through this excavator and uh, put one on every single fitting. I think I'll also put them on the tractor because there's not that many. I think also on the big telehandler and I guess on the Bobcat too. So I got a little work ahead of me. Let me uh, just start cleaning all the Zerk fittings and maybe give them a pump or two of grease and then putting caps on. Let me do one for example. Um, this is on the blade of the excavator. There's a grease zerk right down here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it and I will pump a little bit of grease in there and I will show you how to put the cap on. So this fitting's pretty clean already. Um, I'm just going to go like this. And this is also a lock and lube attachment. Put that on. So that should be good. Take this off. I just want to do things right here, so I'm going to clean this off pretty good. And then I'll take my little cap. You put the ring on. Okay, the ring is on like that, so now you can still grease it. I can still put a grease fitting on, and then you just close the cap up. So it's that simple. Now that's protected, dirt and debris is not going to get in there, and they're easy to see when you're servicing the machine. So there's one done right there. I've got one back there. And then one more over there. So you can see just how easy it is to see. Like standing right here, I can see that there's, you know, one, two, three grease zerks. I think that'd be pretty cool to have it done on the whole machine. Quite frankly, I'm not sure why more people don't do this. Maybe just because they don't know about it or. I mean, how nice is that to not have dirt and stuff get in there? I know it's always a pain in the butt to grease stuff, but this just makes it way easier. So, I don't know, I'm gonna keep going and
So I just finished up the excavator. And actually, when I went through the last time, I caught one more grease jerk. So there was one, two, three, and then a fourth one up there. I come over here, got this guy done. Got three more in there. One down here. And you can see there's one in there, one down there, one up there. They're all over up there. Top of the cylinder. Got one down there. All over. So it just makes it so much easier. There's one down there. There's another one in there. <clears throat> it just makes it so much easier to find them. Right there. And then this side has a bunch. And so for standing away, you could just clearly see one, two, three, four, all of them. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is do this tractor. There's not too many on it. You know, just standing here, I can see already one, two, a third. Now the next thing I'm going to grease up and put the caps on is this Mustang skid steer. It's been a really good machine. I've almost had it almost a year now. I'll start it up. It's, it's about 40 degrees outside, so... It's running good now. I, it's always done that. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to pretty much do the same thing we did on the excavator and the tractor. But we will uh, we'll start going through and greasing everything. I'm pretty sure there's a grease fitting on this machine somewhere that doesn't take grease. So I bought a tool and we're going to try to fix that. I guess let's start going through it.
Okay, so this is the one grease zerk that I can't get any grease into. I bought this on Amazon. It's a uh, grease zerk uh, rejuvenator. Uh, so it's got a tool here. This is what I'm gonna be using. And um, I think this, I don't know if it screws on or just uh, clips on to the grease zerk fitting, but uh, there's a, it's all like metal. It's got this plunger that comes out. Um, and then uh, supposedly you fill this with like WD-40 or PB Blaster or something like that. Put the uh, this end on, and uh, you're supposed to hit it with a hammer. And supposedly this, you know, that boom will blow out the fitting. So let me uh, get this filled up, and um, I'll get a hammer and we'll whack it a few times, and we will see how that works. All right, so yeah, don't unscrew this thing. I just did that, and then I found that there's a little spring in here. And then there's a little ball bearing. I almost lost it. So let's put that back together. Okay. I think it says to hold it up to the sky to get the air out. Okay, so it just shot out. So it definitely works. Let's um, I'll put that on. Well, the grease surf broke. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it just broke off. I'm gonna have to get a wrench and we'll just have to buy a new grease surf because, yeah, it's broken off in there. Okay, well, it wasn't working anyways, so let's get that undone. So I have a feeling that this thing was almost entirely plugged. If I don't think you can see from this end, but right here, it just feels like some old grease in there. But it looks pretty plugged. I mean, this stuff is pretty thick. It's not malleable at all. So this fitting probably needed change anyways. And I'll use that tool for something else. I mean, I got a lot of equipment now, so. I'm sure stuff will get plugged up in the future. Yeah, I'm just going to have to buy another fitting. I'm going to have to uh, figure out what the thread size is and whatnot. So 